with the tang set in place. I will now continue Poke Park 2 to keep a low profile. Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. This is the Unaware House. Yep, a pun name. And uh, over there, that's where we came in. Yeah, that's where the train blasted through the wall. <laughs> it's a nice little bit of detailing over here though. Uh, oh, I didn't mean to, to do... I uh, mm -hmm. wanted to show that there's... It looks like there's a side path to go through here, but there's actually not a path. And I just wanted to show you that because there's a bunch of other paths around this place that are like that. And oh, look at this, look at this. It's a Joltik right off the bat. Yay, I'm so glad you didn't step on me. Good job finding me. You pay attention to details, so I have a request for you. Please go find my brothers and tell them to come back. We all like to cling to someone else, so please look at other Pokemon very carefully. Alright. So we're looking for another Joltik around here. Uh, Clefadal right there. That's, that's not the Joltik, that's the one we just talked to. Uh, it usually likes to cling to Electivire. Uh, is it on Electivire? Yes it is, see that? Right on its back there? See that? Uh, mm, mm, okay, I'm gonna talk to you, because I want to just see what you have to say. I was planning to go to the craggy area to meet strong Pokemon, but I ended up here. I don't care who I battle anymore. Want to battle? Well, no, because I want to show something. Then I can't do anything about it. Bye. Watch this. I'm going to knock Joltik off its back by running into him. There we go. Hey, 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 what's your problem? And he battles you. <laughs> yeah, so there's two ways to battle Electivire here, and I thought I would show that off. But... Oh, look out for thunder! Keep your distance! Ugh. Knocked you off your feet. Okay, gonna do another thunder? I thought you were gonna do another thunder. That's pretty much all you seem to do most of the time. Oh, I should have waited until the flashing was done. Because I shot that off a little bit early before it started flashing. And when it hit, it was, he was flashing. And yeah, gotta time myself a little better. Like, now! There we go. Uh, whoa. Woo! Yeah. Ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. Attacking me off guard like that is not fair. But the battle just now was fun. Hmm. Could you be the famous Eco Whirlwinds? We got a new nickname. <laughs> no wonder the battle is challenging. Battle me again. Woo! Electivire is friended. I guess. Uh, maybe your name, your nickname is also based off of the attacks you use, because I've been using Leaf Tornado a lot lately, and- Oh, oh I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it just, just just sort of homes in on the Pokemon. Uh, anyway, this is the Joltik that I knocked off it. Hmm, what? Not going home, but it's fun to cling to someone, because I can see different things. But you came a long way, so probably I should go back and show my face. I didn't come that from that long. Well, I suppose I kind of did, because this is a totally different area. I'm back! Thank you, Snivy. Some of my many, many brothers have gone to other areas to play. I wanted to tell that to my brothers in this area, too. Joltik is befriended! And uh, you'll find Joltik in other areas, like quite literally other areas of the game, attached to other Pokemon. So uh, you don't have to seek them out because Joltik, you know, is already befriended. But they're fun to look for, anyway. If you do see Joltik in other areas, don't stop but step on them and be nice, too. And Galvantula has come to play! So, when they evolve, they turn from a tick into a tarantula. Hey there, fuzzy guy. Tarantula. Thanks for helping, Joltik. You're a good one. I'll take care of you. How about a battle? All right. Hmm, maybe I should have switched over to Tepig. Well, it should be fine. I hope. Oh, that could be bad. It's, that's, oh, that's a bug attack versus... My grass type self. Holy poopers! What is that, a hyper beam? Oh, I'm not gonna let that hit me. Oh, no, no! Shake out, shake out! No, shoot! Oh, I accidentally hit the button for an assist, but it worked out because I got an assist. Oh, okay. Do not let yourself get trapped in that. It could combo attack you infinitely, apparently. <laughs> no, no! Good lord! <laughs> Why is my attack missing so badly? No, 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 no! Okay. Okay, we're good, we're good. No, no, you're not gonna hit me with that. No, no, no! No, no! <sighs> I win. 
I was going to take care of you, but I was taken care of. It was fun. See you. And Galvantula is befriended. There we go. So, um, probably seen that there was a chest up there. We can't get that just yet. Uh, we have to actually jump down on that from above. And, uh, there's not a lot of Pokemon here right now, but there's a, a lot more later on. Believe me. She schwat. Suck and divine something interesting, but there's nothing here. Excite me with the battle? Sure! If the battle is boring, I won't forgive you. Oh, I'll make it worth your while. Just please don't use any ice attacks. I know you're a dark ice type. <laughs> oh god, ice attack! <laughs> yeah! Wow. That was pretty powerful, despite not being super effective! Ah! Well, it is sort of late game, so it makes sense that Pokemon are more powerful. What was that? That wasn't exciting at all. I told you I wouldn't forgive you if the battle was boring. Then battle me again. Mm -hmm. Where did you get in from, anyway? It looks like this place is sealed from all sides. I wonder if I should have switched to Tepig. I've been saying that a lot, haven't I? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. You are quite the competitor. Yeah. No. Wow. Yeah, he it recovers really fast after an attack. I'm not even sure Tepig would be all that helpful if I switch to it. Let's see. I know the story. I know the story. <laughs> all right, let's try this again. This time, with not very effective attacks. Oh, that works great! Yeah, as you see, uh, Tepic is also more hardy than uh, Snivy is. In fact, Snivy is probably the most um, like vulnerable of all the Pokémon in your party. So it makes sense that Tepic would be able to withstand more attacks than Snivy could. Impressive. That was exciting. All right, there we go. That was much easier. Gengar is here. Mm, where does it go? I don't know. There's a Drifblim stock uh, over here. This is something uh, you're gonna need to check out later. See this right here is a little glowing spot. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. Actually, wait. I I can do that now. That's right. <laughs> It leads to the underground sewer area. I thought I had to open this up from another spot, but I was mistaken. Anyway, fast white quill right there. And yeah, I was totally mistaken about this. But I'm I'm pretty sure there's like another another spot that you have to open up via a switch somewhere around here. I left the mansion where I used to live and I've been traveling around. I feel a nostalgic, nostalgic atmosphere in the back of the warehouse. Will you battle with me to end my boredom? Sure. Then I'll collect that chest over there. So, since it's a ghost type, no Pokemon you use will really matter versus it. I mean, unless you fail horrendously. Yeah! Yeah! In the water! <laughs> if you knock a Pokemon in the water that can't swim, you instantly win the battle. Yes, oh, I lost. Guess I should find another way to end my boredom. I appreciate your company. That didn't end your boredom! I play this game to end boredom. <laughs> Dusknor is here! I don't think it appears in this underground sewer area, though. Uh, yeah, it's in the other spot. Anyway. Chest opens as me. Aroma candles. Yes, I can now go befriend Muna later. <laughs> I don't feel like going back. Um, uh, I think that's about it. But yeah, I thought there was a sewer cover that you could open up with a switch from another floor. But maybe you don't have to. I don't know. I, I just feel like there was some sewer cover in this area, unless I'm thinking of some other game. Hey, how's it going? Came here because I heard some rowdy Pokemon running wild. You, play chase with me. Uh, I guess. Not sure how well this will go since I'm not using Snivy and 
Well, you're not all that fast, are you? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Whoa. 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 You're actually very fast. Whoa. Whoa. I might have to stun it with something like a bubble. Yep. Whoa. You are something else. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's like it's caffeinated. Well, I mean, it's had a lot of caffeine, I should say. Caffeinated is when you when you have something that is, I mean, that has caffeine in it. Oh my goodness. Is this even possible? Anything. No, I know it's possible, but jeez. <laughs> I'm, I'm like losing so much ground here. Oh, almost cut it. Oh, that actually, it is possible with Oshawott, I can tell. Just don't get hit by a shadow ball. <laughs> Wait, 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 oh, 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 Yeah, you just gotta close into its path, and when it uses the Shadow Ball, that's when it becomes vulnerable. Hmm, never thought it'd be caught. I have to put a curse on you for that. Oh, come on! Just kidding, let's be friends. <laughs> well, the Ghastly Hunter and Gengar Trio are known pranksters. <laughs> Uh, Meowth there has got some wares to sell. By the way, do you have a music box yet? Out of curiosity. Because the other Meowth then have music boxes... No. What a pity indeed. Maybe you, you get them post-game or something. I don't know. Wait, 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 wait. You want sweet leaves? Why do you want sweet leaves? What do you want them for? Can I use them? I mean, can I use them? Nah. I'm not, I'm not interested in trading items for berries, I'm more interested for trading items for items. Like for items that I might need for something else. Uh, in this corner next to the stairs is a mood station. Uh, oh, hey, don't be scared. I'm friendly. I know you. You're the eco whirlwinds, aren't you? <laughs> Are you strong? Battle with me. Yeah, okay, let's battle. So you got a... Pretty gooey poison type here, so it doesn't really matter which Pokemon you use versus it. Just don't get attacked by its sludge bomb, and you'll be... I did not aim that very well. And you should be pretty good. That splits off in two directions? You'll never hit me with that. <laughs> like, it, it does One doesn't even go down the center, it just... Yeah! I can pretty much stand in place, ex unless you've got a close range attack. Uh, you're, you're not... A, oh, there we go, now you're aiming. I was gonna say, maybe maybe your move is uh, based off of the possibility of ow that you're expecting someone to use a dodge dodging move like that. Yeah. Oh no, that one wasn't. I guess it, it varies depending on. It, it's kind of random, I guess. But it just seemed like it wasn't aiming at all at first, and then it then it started randomizing its attacks. It's that one to split around me, so I don't have to dodge the sides. That one's going straight for me, and I do have to dodge. That's how it's done. Oh! Ooh, both of them sort of kind of went for me there. Oh no, don't you dare cling to me in battle, Joltek. I'm busy. <laughs> Woo! You're really strong. It's nice to be strong. Be my friend. Alrighty! Woo! That was fun. Probably one of the more interesting battles. Whoa, Magmortar! Now where is it? Where could it have gone? Who knows? I got some Roar Motors to perhaps give to Mischievous. Oh, wait. oh, there you are. You were behind me. You were ninjaing. I think I've got the right Pokemon out here, so... Uh, got a battle? Oh, yeah. Let our fiery battle begin. Well, I'm gonna douse those flames. You probably won't be too happy with that, but it's gonna happen on... Oh, are you gonna get... <laughs> it's still very happy, though. Whoa! You are resilient! Like, really, really resilient. Eruption? Uh... 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 Don't want to get too, get too close. You seem pretty powerful, or you look pretty powerful. <laughs> oh, one more should do it. Woo! Not 
that difficult, but I bet if I took some hits, it would knock my HP down pretty quickly. Dodge my moves or something. I'll be your friend. Yay! Alright. Any more popping in? Because it seems like when I battle or chase one, another one comes in. <laughs> Let's see if I got all the Pokemon down here at the uh, bottom floor first before I go up to the top floor. There's not all that many Pokemon up over at the top floor. It's mostly exploring and platforming. So it's, uh, wait, you want roof tiles? What do you want roof tiles for? Uh, nine roof tiles for berries, no thanks. Well, I do have berries, but not interested in the trade, sorry. <laughs> anyway, second floor here, and there should be a switch around not here I guess <laughs> uh, surprise box still need that this switch right here yeah I broke it don't worry you only have to do that <laughs> see what, what that did was it turned this around and connected this pathway to that and otherwise it was connected to over there which doesn't help us at all <laughs> Because if you go across uh, this path here, oh geez, I almost fell. Yeah, you can fall off this edge and it's pretty annoying to get back up to because, you know, you gotta go back to the stairs and then you gotta go through the maze again. So let's not fall if we can help it. Uh, I think any Pokemon can get across this. Um, that fast white quill I gotta jump down to from another spot. Uh, let's switch. Maybe these switches. Uh, see, I thought the switch to control that sewer drain. I mean, I thought the sewer drain had a cover, it was, um, it was up here somewhere. But, the, s the sewer that I, you know, encountered didn't have anything to do with that. <laughs> it, it was just there, and, you know, you just used, uh, Heat Smash. Uh, just wanna look around here, I think this would lead us back to the start, which I, hmm, don't really wanna do. Just wanna look. Uh, yeah, why would you want to jump off here? Can't you jump off there? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't seem like there's anything there except for sort of kind of way back. Anyway, you obviously want to hit all of these switches once, at least. <laughs> because once you hit them, they break, but, it, but the platform goes into place. So it's like, who needs a switch after that anyway, you know? Uh, let's just see here. Oh, no, 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 don't fall. Don't fall. Please don't fall. Okay, so... They, oh, I, I think I wanted to jump down that side to get to... Hold on, hold on. Yeah, because there's another um, higher level on the third floor there, but I'm not ready to go up there just yet, so okay. So that, that's why you want to take that supposedly or seemingly dead-end path, but I don't want to go there yet. I want to go around here through some very treacherous lands uh, first. Let's yeah, jump down here. You got to do it. Get this vast white quill. And we got to go back around. <laughs> yeah, that's what's kind of annoying about this is you gotta keep going around and around to get all the stuff and yeah don't fall don't fall well, you can fall on the gears but uh, what I mean is don't fall off to a, to a point that you can't like easily get you know back up and around otherwise you have to restart the whole segment uh, that vast white quill very very treacherous to get oh yeah look at this Oh, oh, got it. Ha ha ha. Just remember to switch the camera around um, so that you're facing the beam before you go on the, I mean, before you start moving across the beam. Because you have this um, sort of practice area that you can fall off of any time that you want uh, so that you can line yourself up as carefully as you need to. And then there you go. Uh huh. Look at that. Look how well that works. Um, what's over here? <laughs> it, it, it's like a 3D maze in case you don't realize that. Uh, so let's me go back if I want to go back. Oh, this, this right here leads to that treasure chest. Yep, 
Just drop down. Yep, we got to drop down again. And there we go. 500 berries. I think we max out at 9,999. So, um, gonna have to spend some stuff soon. I can't get up there now. Yep, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Ah. Why is this designed that way? You have to do this at least twice. You know, you have to jump down to that vast white quill and that treasure chest. And, ah, uh, it's such a pain. <laughs> um, that door. That's for something later. That I'll cover later. What I want to do is go to... Second, I mean third floor, excuse me. Uh, right here. Let's go up. I said go- OH NO! And it's so easy to do that too because this game's sort of wonky controls. <laughs> Alright. That's why I was trying to be careful but even being careful, you can sometimes flop off the edge. This would be one of the most frustrating games of speedrun, I bet. Because of the, the randomness of some chases and battles. As well as uh, platforming like this. Yeah. Fast Fight Quill! There we go. That's what I was looking for. Actually, I could have got that earlier, couldn't I? Can I, like, jump down onto a platform so I don't have to restart this from the beginning? Preferably. Um, I think there's one here. Yes! Okay, good. Alright, now... Oh, no! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> right here is this door. Obviously, it's got a little Tepig hint here. Tepig! Mm -hmm. Look at that. We broke down the door, and now we have access to what truly looks like a tech area. <laughs> Got a bunch of gears here. All the evolutions act to be more precise. What do you mean? What, what, what's going on? Oh, they ran away. Hey, do you guys know, guys know what I'm looking for? How about boundless courage? <laughs> this is one challenge left. What could it be? What could it be? What could it be? I don't really care. I want to go to the Scientorium. Could you be a me? No! Hey, is that the correct answer? No! Correct, you're a me. What? I did it! The Scientorium is under here. Without Clink and company, the elevator won't work. So that means the correct answer was Clink! <laughs> if you want to go to the Scientorium, you'll need the, those three. Go look for Clink, Clang, and Clink, <clears throat> Clink, Lang, and bring them back here. They just ran away, but I think they're still in the warehouse. That last sentence was like a tongue twister. <laughs> That's why I kind of messed up on it. Anyway, um, there should be one in here. Yep. Hey, how's it going? Go to two dual zone. I really have to be a gear again. Well, it's only only once more. If it's only once more, it's okay. I don't know why they talk like that, <laughs> but they do. All right, so there's one out of three. Uh, there's other stuff. Oh, my face in the wall. It's like Twilight Princess all over again. Ooh, Dusk Nor. But you're not exactly what I'm looking for. Well, I guess I could do something with you. First, the quick change is in order. Greetings, Dusk Scholar urged me to come here. This warehouse is indeed comforting. I feel familiar spirit signals. Might interest you in the battle? Sure. Here I come. Alright, you're no substitute for evil voice guy, but you're close. Bring it on. Actually, you're pretty slow. And you're pretty easy. <laughs> if I remember correctly. 
like incredibly easy for what you look like and what you could possibly do, especially with how uh, powerful you are in the games. <laughs> I mean, regular main series games. You know, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna just dodge around you. You aren't that threatening. Just gonna give myself a little extra room here. There we go, and one more. One more snivy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hmm, I never imagined I would lose. Really? I'm interested in your spirit. I think Gengar would, be, would prove quite an issue for you. <laughs> anyway, let's do some more exploring. This was completely a dead end, right? Right, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's just houses, uh, dusk nor there. Uh, over here is Goldberry. It's just something sort of, kind of hidden that you, I guess, might want. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we're looking for the other two gears. I think there's one hanging around uh, the top area here somewhere. Just gotta look around. Is that it there? I think that's it there. And I think there's one, the last one is down on the bottom floor, so that means we would have to climb back up here again. <laughs> you want to go underground? To the sign door, EM, what for? To rescue a friend! Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't resist stories like this. I'll be happy to help. <laughs> Maybe they talk like that because there's, um, there's like big ones and small ones. And then, they, you know, they have different voices. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's funny. I mean, it doesn't explain Clink, because, you know, it's got two of the same sized ones, but, you know. Anyway, yeah, I think the last one is hiding down here somewhere. More specifically, uh, I thought it was behind the train. Uh, where is the last one? They're, they're, they never, ever appear outside of the Unaware House, just so you know. In fact, they hinted at that, um, when they said that they think that- uh, Oh! Sorry! <laughs> huh, I thought it was around here. Did I miss a corner? Yeah, hmm. Was it at one of the upper levels? I don't... Hmm, yeah. <laughs> I could have swore. No, no. I gotta climb around the top floor again. Maybe it was... Nope. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where is Clang? Clang. Clang. <laughs> Maybe it's over here? Maybe it's over there? Maybe it's anywhere? I don't know. <laughs> I forgot. Oh. I'm just gonna check up here to give myself a bird's eye view of the situation. Uh, I know it's somewhere. Oh wait, is that it down there by the crate? Yeah, so it was down here. I just missed you. Bang. You want to ride that elevator? Who are you that says this? Are you one of the gears moving the contraption called the Pokebar? No, you are free, Pokemon. If that is so, I will help. Okay. Now please teleport me back to the lab. No! I have to climb back up there! I made it! <laughs> Alright, everyone's here now. I steal myself. Oh, oh! Still touched. If Kling Clang and Kling Clang uh, get the. <laughs> caps for certain words. Anyway, Duo Sion got him. Okay. New Pokemon yearning to breathe free. Do these Pokemon a favor and open that elevator door one last time. Now just leave it open. Just let them go free. Yay! Whoa! Whoa! That doesn't seem safe. Oh! <laughs> Thank you! Alright! 
Clink Clang and well, I'm tired of saying their names. <laughs> it just feels like I'm saying the same names over and over. <laughs> Basically combined names, okay. So you can go to the Scientorium. Thanks everyone. Sweet. So, now that the Scientorium is open right here, I think we shall- wait, hold up, can I go inside this hole? No, I didn't think so. That, that, that hole up there must be the path that they took from there to open the door through here. Like, they, they must have did something in there, then they came out that hole. But anyway, let's go to the Scientorium in the next part. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then. Boy, this is a long part. I think it's about time I check to see if he came by. Oh. Oh. I think Evil Voice Guy was here. Only the condensation ring at the bottom of the cup is left. Ah. He's right. I'm not very observant when I play video games. I'll have to try something else later. But for now, more Poké Park 2. <laughs>